Hi, welcome to my presentation, Civil Rights Superheroes, Ruby Bridges and Malala Yousafzai by Sophia John. Here's an overview of my presentation. I chose this topic because I really love school and Malala and Ruby both fought for civil rights for kids so everyone can go to school today. Malala was born in Pakistan and the Taliban was always hunting for her because she was giving speeches and blogs about how girls deserve to have a better education, just like boys. But the Taliban attacked Malala while riding the bus. She continued to speak out at, at education after she got shot by the Taliban and she was the youngest person to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. Ruby Bridges was born in Mississippi, and she and her family moved to Louisiana when she was four. During segregation, Ruby Bridges wanted to go to an all-white school, but many white people did not. They thought she was not smart, so they said if she passed a really hard test, she could enter the school. However, she passed, and the white people brought it to court, but the court said they needed to stay true to their promise. So she was the first black student at her school despite protests and angry mobs. Ruby grew up and became an activist. Here are the major events of Ruby's life. Here is a timeline of Malala Yousafzai and major events in her life. Here is a Venn diagram comparison on Malala and Ruby and their similarities and differences. Some similarities are they both fought for civil rights, wanted to learn and be in school, and both wrote books, showed courage and bravery, and they are both trailblazers. According to Nancy Thomas, associate principal of a, a local school, she says that it's extremely important that education is accessible to everyone so that they can make good decisions in life. I got a chance to interview an expert on this topic, Alicia Pierre-Louise, she works for the government and in civil rights. She says that being educated is a basic human right and some things we can do today is vote and elect people who are willing to help kids be in schools and learn our full history. Here are some word bubbles. Who is Malala in words? Who is Ruby in words? Here are my work cited in resources. Using my creativity, imagination, and research, I created a side-by-side -side model of Malala and Ruby's classroom using the materials cardboard, paint, and more. I have done a lot of research on this project, so Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.